G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. I've got this little um, Flamer FX20. It's a little headphone amp sim uh, headphone amplifier with a uh, four hours worth of rechargeable battery in it. And it's got a mountain of amps in it, like 50 amps. It's got uh, a heap of modulation effects in it as well, but it also has five delays and it has five reverbs. And I'm going to go through those for you today now. Every single thing you're hearing today is coming from the Flamer FX20. It is unbelievable. I've got the app up as you can see. Uh, this is a, a Mesa Rectifier Mark III or something like they said. Mesa Boogie Triple Rectifier. There you go. This is the clean channel. You can see my settings there. The gain's almost up full. Bass, mid, treble, presence, and master. But that's not what we're here for today. We are here for these two. The delay. On, off, on, off. Now, you can't see me touching the screen, I know, on my phone well, with the app. But I, all you have to do is touch the pedal, and it turns blue, and it's now on. That little spanner there, on and off, brings up the... Um, different uh, things that you can change, the level, the feedback, and the time. And then where it says digital there with a the little arrow, you press on the arrow, and it brings up all the five different uh, delays for us to muck around with. So the first one, of course, is uh, digital. And as you would imagine from any digital delay, it is beautiful and a pristine, exact copy of what you're playing. second it's pretty awesome and also goes all the way back to 40 milliseconds there you go so you can use it as a slap back as well but turn my feedback pedal for that Normal slapback sort of up around at 120, I reckon, around there somewhere. Oh, I meant to drop D. I made a mistake on YouTube. All right, next. We have the analog delay. Now, a lot of people love the analog delays. And the reason they like them is because as you play into the old style bucket per grade uh, chips in the old analog delays, you started to lose some of the bottom end and some of the top end off your uh, sound. So you can hear it degrading away there into sort of digital nothingness, you know. Analog nothingness, I should say. Now, the best part about these things is that the old analog delays, like the Boss DM2 and DM3, the old Dodd delays, that sort of thing, they only went up to 300 milliseconds, and this gives you a whole second. So you can really hear that degradation in the signal. And it goes all the way down to 40 milliseconds as well. So that's pretty cool. That's going to be the, uh, the trend, I think, for the day. That's a really nice sounding delay. Now we've got the real echo. Let's have a listen to this one. Oh, it loses a lot more top end off the top than that. Again, that's one second down to 40 milliseconds. So they're all going to be the same. Yeah, it loses all of its top end. It seems to retain a fair bit of its bottom end though, doesn't it?
These are, this is a 1979 Greco Les Paul. Actually, I think it might be a 1976. I can't remember. I have to run the serial number again. I can't remember. Uh, but this it has these extra wide range pickups in the neck, and they're great. They look so bassy. Yeah, you can hear how much bass it retains. All right, tape echo. Let's have a look. This one's doing the opposite. This one is doing uh, losing all the bottom end and giving you leaving your top end behind. Back to the bridge. Sounds like there is a slight bit of modulation in there as well. Really nice delays. Last one for the delays, there's only five, is the mod. I'll turn everything up sort of so we can hear it nice and clearly. Oh yeah, lots of modulation on this one. And the more repeats you have, the more modulation you get. Ah, that is a beautiful thing. All right, next, we are going to move on to the reverb. So I'm going to touch the little blue pedal there. It's going to turn off. I'm going to touch the grayed out pedal and it's now going to be my reverb pedal. Now there is five in here as well. The first one is the room. Again, I'm going to turn it right up and turn the decay right up. Uh, I'm just going to leave the tone around the middle just so we can have a really good listen to them all. That sounds like a room. Uh, I'm going in stereo. I'm going direct via USB into my door today. So all the stereo effects you're hearing, this is all coming out of this FX20. It'd be amazing with the headphones on. Which, funnily enough, is exactly what it's designed for, so. <laughs> Tone all the way up. Tone all the way down. Beautiful. I like having a tone control on my reverb. That is awesome. Okay, we're over to the hall. Reverb. Tone down. Really nice sounding reverb. The plate, this is one of the most guys will be sort of interested in hearing. By default, it comes up with the tone all the way down, so I'll be interested to to see why that is. Really nice. 
nice turn all the way up. Oh yeah, you can really hear those, those plate sort of artifacts have built into that algorithm. These are really, really nice uh, reverbs, and they must take up a lot of space. I see why they've only given us five, because they are quality. The spring reverb. Now, will this one give us some drip, and we will have a listen. quite have that drip to it that you would expect from a um, spring reverb, but it is a lovely reverb nonetheless. That would pass for a spring reverb 99% of the time. Just run the tone down. Yeah, that's really, really nice. All right, last one, the mod. Reverb, I'm gonna crank this one right up so we can get some mod out of it, here we go. Turn the tone down on that now and give it one last listen to it. They only give you five reverbs and they only give you five delays. And I'm not surprised because every single thing you are hearing is coming from this tiny, weeny, little device. Check out how cool it is. I've got the USB cable plugged into it. Oh, and that is going straight into my door. And that is what you have been listening to this whole time, uh, which I find absolutely fascinating. Just gonna plug that back in and make a horrible great big noise, but that is fine because the video is pretty much over and there's probably nobody left watching. So that is super fine. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you're looking for something to sort of really help with your practice and that sort of stuff, this is a really great little tiny option, rechargeable option. You can Bluetooth music from your phone through it as well. It's got drums built into it, as you heard by mistake. That sort of stuff. Um, look, there's another whole video on our channel where I go through all the features on it, so go check it out too. If you're interested, they're about 100 bucks US, I think, so uh, they're an absolute bargain. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I'll stop waffling on. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.